Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing good. If you like my content, then you can support me by liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. We live in the 21st century. Still, we discriminate on the basis of color. We discriminate on the basis of gender. We discriminate against people of different faith. Have you ever thought religion promote discrimination? If not, then let's talk because that's my topic for today. Before I start, I just want to make one thing clear. I'm not against different cultures, but I'm against bad things stemming from religious thinking. We fight like little children when it comes to religion. We mostly think my religion is better than other religion. You know how little children do. They go, my daddy is stronger than your daddy. Oh, sorry, I take it back. Sounds like religious people are talking about their sky daddy. Have you ever heard anyone saying other religion are better than the one they themselves follow? Every religious person think they are part of the better religion. They think their religion is always superior than the other religion. We can very easily criticize other religions but not ours. Why is that? There is a documentary by Richard Dawkins called Faith School Menons. It is available free on YouTube. See for yourself how religion discriminate even in the education of children. Let's talk about the caste system. Manusmriti, a beginner guide to discrimination since 1500 BC. It is about 1800 year old. Do you, yes you, watching this video, think the caste system by any chance is good? Caste system is an imaginary worth of humans as per which caste they are born in. Remember, they never had the choice where they will be born, but we assume this is the worth of that human just cause they are born in that particular caste. Brahmins are on the top of the caste and Shudra are at the bottom. On 25th December 1927, Mr. B. R. Ambedkar set this book on fire because he believed Manusmriti has given way too much power in the hand of Brahmins and endorsed Varna system and other inequalities. It has made untouchability a sad, very sad reality of India. The problem that arises by uplifting the lower caste people and ignoring the upper caste people is that the people who are actually good in their job might get their opportunities snatched since they don't fit the quota. I really wish there was no caste system. A little example is that almost 60% of the government jobs are reserved under quota. It is not fair for the people in general category. In studies as well, a general category student who scores higher marks than reserve category student may not be able to get the admission in the college because there is just too much competition. By the way, a reserve category student or a job seeker can still apply for the jobs allotted in the general category. I say we should all promote equity. But anyways, who cares about my opinion? We can see discrimination on the basis of religion in politics as well. A lot of people vote purely on emotions. Have you seen how many fights are happening throughout India purely because the other person is from a different religion. If a person get hurt by somebody, nobody says they got hurt by a person. They always say a Hindu hurt the Muslim or the Muslim hurt the Hindu or a Sikh hurt a Hindu or a Muslim or a Christian hurt anyone. It is just ridiculous. It's religion first, humanity later. If you just take out the religion, then you can easily determine that who is at fault but no, what we tell you? At the end of the day, the average person suffer. People that you know since growing up suffer. How can we solve this problem of discrimination? For that, let us think and you can call me atheist.